Welcome everyone to our webinar with Bank of America, the Academy. We're so excited to have them here today. They're the 2019 International Service Excellence Award winners of the Employee Engagement Award. Uh, I'm excited for you to learn about the Academy at Bank of America. The Academy is Bank of America's onboarding, coaching, and development organization that supports more than 80,000 client-facing teammates and managers to deliver exceptional client care, build new skills, and grow their careers. In 2018, Bank of America launched Pathways, making a five-year commitment to hire 10,000 individuals from LMI communities into roles in their consumer organization. Pathways is a recruiting and development program that partners with community organizations and cities with co concentrated hiring needs. So we'll learn a little bit more about that today on the webinar. Uh, we'll be hearing from two of Bank of America's employees who will give you an inside look at the Academy and the Pathways program. Lauren Ryan, a program manager, leading communications and brand strategy for the Academy. And Jen Andrew is a program manager for the Pathways programs program. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. And we're so excited to hear what you have to share with us. Thank you so much, Christine. We're really excited to be here today. My name is Lauren Ryan, and as Christine shared, I am a program manager leading communications and brand strategy for the Academy at Bank of America. And I'm excited to be joined by my colleague and good friend, Jen Andrew, who leads the implementation and management of the bank's pathways program to support how we recruit develop and retain opportunity talent, providing them with meaningful and sustainable careers. We were honored to receive the International Service Excellence Award in the Employee Engagement category earlier this year for the work the Academy is doing across our company to support both our teammates and clients. So we'll spend our time today speaking about both the Academy and the Pathways program and how these initiatives have made an impact at Bank of America. So I'd like first to start by providing a high-level overview of our company, Bank of America. Bank of America provides people, companies, and institutional investors the financial products and services they need to help achieve their financial goals at every stage of their lives. There are three lines of business that the Academy supports at Bank of America, one being the consumer bank, which serves people with a, a wide variety of banking and financial needs from everyday personal banking, small business, home and auto loans, and planning for, for wealth and more. And then Merrill, which provides investment advice and guidance, and then Bank of America Private Bank, which supports, which provides sophisticated planning and solutions to manage substantial wealth. So the Academy supports these three different organizations, lines of businesses within our company. In 2016, we set out to build an organization that heavily partnered with human resources, learning and leadership development, as well as teammates from within the line of business. So we really took expertise from these different groups, along with teammates who worked and led in client-facing roles to create an organization that was dedicated to onboarding, training, coaching, and career development and that's now known as the Academy. It's all about partnership, and this unique approach to learning is what has really set us apart. So through this partnership, we built a large-scale organization that trains people, whether it be on answering the phones in our client care centers, to underwriting, to sitting in our financial centers, working directly with clients, or working as a Merrill financial advisor. And what we've created is truly an environment where people can practice, where they can learn, and that goes beyond just the typical sort of learning environment into a really high-touch coaching environment. And we've seen really great results so far. You know, we're such, we're such a people business, and investing in our people is really our biggest and most important asset. I mentioned earlier that the Academy supports our consumer and wealth businesses focusing on client-facing employees and leaders within that space. And through the Academy, we are helping teammates deliver exceptional client care and grow their careers in a way that is meaningful to their professional goals. The programs that we created are helping our teammates feel that they can succeed, 
that they are cared for and proud to work at Bank of America. And you'll hear that a lot throughout my presentation, this concept of success, care, and pride. There are three levels of programming offered consistently across the academy through several lines of business. They're called new to role, in-role development, and mastery level training. And through these three levels of programming, we currently offer more than 80 different training programs, and that number continues to grow each quarter. So I wanted to provide a little bit of information on what each of these programs looks like. New to role training is structured new hire training. So somebody could be just new to the role or new to the company, and it's delivered via cohort over multiple weeks. It starts with a one and a half day onboarding experience where we really focus on the culture of the company. And the program length itself can vary from two to 13 weeks, depending on the role or if you're new to the company, and offers high touch and high impact learning via in-person or more so now virtual one-on-one -on -one routines and skill building activities. It includes protected training time and protected study time, as well as a de dedicated academy manager who coaches, mentors, and leads training sessions. And I'll, I'll talk more about this academy manager in a little bit. It's really interesting. I hear this statistic across our team a lot. And if, it is, if an employee has a bad onboarding experience, they are six times more likely to leave the company within the first year. So that's why this new to role training, this foundational training, and delivering a great experience for our teammates is so important to us across the academy and at Bank of America. The next level of programming is called in-role development. And that really means structured advanced training programs that help their teammates go from good to great. It's really there to help them further develop skills to accelerate current role performance from proficient to confident and sometimes can include training to upskill our teammates with additional skills and capabilities. And that next level is our mastery programs, which are designed to accelerate progressive behaviors from proficient to consistent top performer, really getting our teammates ready for that next level role at the company. And then on top of all of that, we offer skills-based proficiency training and readiness training for business change. All of these training programs are customized to meet the specific need of the line of business as well. So our teammates will receive a minimum of 80 hours of training when they take on a new role and up to 1,000 hours of training within the first five years, depending on their career path, in addition to the peer mentoring and coaching that they're receiving. Our programs are really designed to help our teammates master the many facets of their current role. As teammates grow and learn, the academy works with them to further hone and develop their skills through structured programming so that they're always learning and they're always improving. So I wanted to share a couple of stats just over the past couple of years. So last year, we had over 45,000 teammates participate in academy programming. And the academy as a whole since we launched in 2016 has contributed to more than 27,000 internal career advancements teammates taking that next step in their career. Nearly 11,000 of those advancements came last year in 2019, and in 2018 there were 10,000 career advancements. So we continue to see that number grow each year as the academy continues to develop. So I mentioned academy manager when I was describing the new to role training, and I want to go back to that and provide some additional detail into this particular role, the academy manager role because I really think it's something that sets us apart. The academy manager is a centralized expert who coaches, mentors, and supports academy participants through their program experience. Because of the coaching nature of the academy manager role, it directly influences retaining talented employees and supporting career growth, which are some of the key priorities across the academy. By introducing this role, Teammates in academy programs have a resource to guide them throughout the process and help them complete, complete the program successfully. This role of an academy manager, you know, they are mentors, they are coaches, but they're also a liaison to the business, ensuring increased speed to proficiency and greater employee satisfaction with their training. 
These academy managers are building strong relationships with new teammates, and they're providing a nurturing experience. By having that dedicated point of contact from be even before day one and throughout the onboarding and training experience, it's providing a level of assurance that Bank of America supports and cares for its employees. And then going a step further, the academy manager is a subject matter expert and has often been in the role that they are now coaching for. Their firsthand expertise and institutional knowledge really cannot be duplicated, and it gives our neutral teammates confidence that they are supported by someone who has been in their position before. The reach of the academy manager is really impressive. Right now, we have more than 220 academy managers, um, and last year, they dedicated a cumulative 7 million hours of support to the 45,000 academy per program participants that we had last year. Overall satisfaction with our academy programs is up 17% year over year. And on top of that, the Consumer Bank finished last year with its lowest ever turnover. So across the organization, we know that the ability to constantly learn and adapt is a skill that is really important, especially as jobs continue to evolve. Having that growth mindset is something that we try to instill in our leaders so that they can instill that in their teammates. At the same time, we know that we've got to be agile. We've got to be willing and ready to change. So as technology becomes more agile, we as an organization and the academy in particular, we have to be very agile. The company, Bank of America, I mean, we have new technology coming out all the time. So we've got to make sure that we help our teammates be proficient in new technologies and consistently teach them new skills. So that all being said, I want to take some time now to talk through some new technologies that we are launching and developing across the academy that are really supporting our teammates. So I talked earlier about the concept of success care pride, and I said that would be a big piece of this presentation. Our teammates are asking three things. Can I be successful at Bank of America? Will Bank of America care for me? And will I be proud to work at Bank of America? So to help answer those questions, we started thinking about our experience with the survey process that we used for our clients and thought that there was an opportunity to follow that path for our teammates as well. We had an inconsistent measurement system um, for our surveys and inconsistent surveys across our academy program. Our data was helpful within a specific business silo, but we were missing opportunities across businesses, and we wanted to think about teammates from a career progression perspective as well. So our goal was to create a common process for evaluating the experiences of our teammates as they participated in our programs. So to solve for that, we built Teammate Voices. The purpose of Teammate Voices is to support our goals of empowering our leaders with the information they need to drive continuous improvement and create meaningful change. We first started with our academy program. We replaced that inconsistent siloed approach with a multi-phase survey to understand the experience as teammates moved through our program. We surveyed teammates at the midpoint of their academy program, the end of their program, and then 60 days post-program, we gather feedback from both that teammate and their immediate manager. This gives us four solid data points on each teammate at various points and perspectives as they onboard into a new role. And we are consistent around an experience question, which really serves as the benchmark for overall satisfaction. And then we flex other questions based on the stage of the program and or the specific role that that teammate is in. So that represents the formal surveys that are triggered as teammates participate in programs through Teammate Voices. However, the Academy discovered that there was also a clear opportunity to gather feedback from our teammates whenever there is a concern or an issue, not just when they receive the invitation for the survey during their training program. So as we continued on the journey with Teammate Voices, we embedded and we continue to embed feedback links into tools, systems, and platforms that our teammates operate in each and every day. This really allows them to share with us any time they encounter an opportunity to make something better, not only for themselves, but for a client. 
And we found pretty good success so far with teammate voices. Um, so far, there, we have found that there is a significant relationship between the likelihood to recommend score from an academy program and a higher likelihood to recommend score from clients who interact with those teammates. There is also a significant relationship between the likelihood to recommend score from an academy program and the knowledge scores when those teammates interact with clients. And then we've seen marginally significant relationship to the overall satisfaction with the client's experience and a marginally significant relationship between the overall satisfaction score 60 days after completion of the academy and knowledge. Teammate Voices is also a critical tool to support the academy manager role and provide continuous improvement opportunities for teammates that are going through those new-to-role programs and the academy manager being able to see what feedback is coming in from the midpoint of that training program so that they can react and solve for whatever that problem may be. So we'll continue to evolve this piece of technology because we truly believe that taking care of our clients starts with taking care of our teammates. And what we're, ty what we're trying to do is to really tie together that employee experience and customer experience. So feedback from our teammates was key in developing this next piece of technology that I'd like to talk about. In 2017, teammates that participated in our neutral programs shared that learning computer systems that were required for their jobs was overwhelming, stressful, and really time consuming. We know that system knowledge is one of the most critical parts of the job that somebody needs to master for any client-facing role. If a teammate is not able to navigate the key computer system, it leads to a negative experience for them and a subpar experience for our clients. So in 2018, we developed a guided practice simulator to create lifelike practice environments that were clones of the systems teammates use to serve their clients. And we called it Academy Client Engagement Simulators, or ACEs for short. And in 2019, we expanded ACES to create a new style of a simulator known as a practice lab, which allowed our teammates to practice real-world scenarios by providing an opportunity to select a variety of learning options within a specific subject matter area. These practice labs also featured what we call show me and do it options that provided more guidance, um, whatever sort of guidance the individual wanted. So not only was this a huge cost save to our organization because we were decreasing the length of time needed for onboarding, but it directly solved for a paid point that our teammates told us about. ACES was designed to allow our teammates to practice really at any pace without the need for a facilitator, which now is more important than ever. ACES provides real-time coaching in three ways. So number one, our teammates can attempt high-risk scenarios in a safe and interactive learning environment. The stress and the time pressure from real-life situations is eliminated, giving them the opportunity to move through the lesson at a comfortable pace and repeat as often as needed, building confidence in handling complicated tasks before they interact with our clients. It also gives our teammates access to instant, actionable feedback which mitigates the tendency for our learners to assume incorrect behaviors or take unnecessary shortcuts that can be detrimental to the client experience and overall job performance. And lastly, it encourages our teammates to actively participate in the learning experience. We're removing the fear and embarrassment that can result from providing an incorrect answer in the classroom setting. One of the best things about ACEs is that anybody can use it. It's not just for new hires. And we continue to hear just really great feedback from our teammates. Anybody can practice different simulations at any time. Maybe they're prepping for an appointment with a client and they know that they're going to have to do something that they haven't done in a while. They can practice with ACEs before the client comes in um, and build that confidence so they can spend their time building relationships with the client. Right now, we have over 80 lessons available and 250 different simulations through four different simulators within ACES. 
and we have four more simulators that will launch later this year and through 2020. So another piece of technology that we are working on implementing is virtual reality. And I am really excited about this technology. So before I talk a little bit about it, I'm going to play a video that we created that shares a little bit more about what we're training within virtual reality. Thank you for calling Bank of America. This call may be monitored and or recorded. My name is Jessica with the Estate Servicing Operations. What we have here is our virtual reality goggles. Just a little more focus. So this would be a remote. Ooh, now I have a little pointer. Whoa, how cool is that? Here we go. I see an office. Oh, this is like a desk. Coffee mug. I like your coffee and drink it. You can do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, I can hear myself tasting it. The phone's ringing. Oh my goodness, that looks like my phone too. Oh, well, this thing's... Crazy. It's so real. <laughs> okay. How can I help you today? Mr. Jones is here today to have a document notarized. Feels like you're actually there interacting with the customer. It's exactly how it usually happens when the relationship banker brings someone in um, to your office to sit down. It makes you actually think about what you want to say and makes you want to say the right things. If I tweak the way I say certain things, they'll receive it a little better. I handed it to the people at the bank. Oh, it's amazing because you could really see it in her face, what she's going through. Having the interaction with the actual customer and seeing the person's face, it kind of puts you into the, the actual emotion of it. It definitely helps us be more empathetic about their situation. The Academy is an organization that is helping our teammates any way we can progress through their career. You put on goggles and you're feeling what you want your teammates to experience. And you're putting them as much into the real world simulation as possible. The idea is for this to be something that employees actually want to do, really to create something that's engaging and interactive for the learner so that when they do the real thing, it's actually more muscle memory and they feel more confident and comfortable. I'm really going to take it, take it with me and really use it to make an impact on my customers. We are high tech and high touch. Our technology is something that I'm very proud of. It's amazing to know that we're giving our associates every single tool to help enable and, and improve that customer experience. Knowing that Bank of America does help give me these resources that I can use to give back to help our clients, it makes me feel good. I just love that video. Um, when we filmed that, that was many of our teammates' first time experiencing virtual reality, and it was great that we were able to capture those initial responses on camera. So the Academy is deploying virtual reality training as a way to practice skills in a safe environment building better muscle memory across our workforce. Virtual reality simulators demonstrate an investment in teammate development and become a recruiting tool to attract new teammates. Many companies are using virtual reality for operations, servicing, sales, leadership, and diversity training. And every company that has deployed it highlights the power to create a positive coaching culture. So our first pilot with virtual reality launched in 2019 with teammates receiving training focused on accurately delivering notary services, as well as improving empathy for end-of-life conversations. This pilot validated the tool's impact. And then we launched a second pilot, which included modules focused on the ability to detect fraud, um, which was launched in our financial centers, as well as identifying small business owners to our centralized lending teammates. We are expecting a nationwide launch of the virtual reality simulators late 2020 into early 2021, and we expect that to reach a majority of our frontline teammates.
Deploying these simulators will really allow our organization to increase the amount of high quality role playing while also lowering the cost to deliver this training. And we'll be able to build a library of modules that focuses on things like client engagement, client deepening, leader development, as well as attracting and mobilizing talent. So like I said, I'm really excited about this technology and the benefit that it offers our teammates and I, I can't wait for it to be rolled out nationwide later this year into early 2020. So I could go on and on about our organization. I am very passionate about it and I am proud of the work that we're doing to keep our employees engaged but to also ensure that they feel they can be successful, cared for, and proud to work at Bank of America. One area I am tremendously proud of is the Pathways Program. And across the academy, we're being thoughtful about skills development, but we're also being thoughtful about the sources of where we're hiring from. So I'm excited now to turn it over to Jen Andrew to talk a little bit about Bank of America's Pathways Program and how the Academy has supported this important initiative. So Jen, over to you. Thank you, Lauren. And as, um, as Christine and Lauren mentioned, I am Jen Andrew, and I have re the privilege of leading our Pathways Initiative for Bank of America across the country. Uh, but before I jump right into the details of what is Pathways, I wanted to bring some background and context to you. So at Bank of America, as Lauren mentioned, we are truly proud to be committed to and invested in our teammates, our clients, and equally our communities. So in the last few years, we have taken a new, ta more tailored community-centered approach to meet our clients' needs by connecting them to products, services, and capital in order to cre increase their financial resilience and really help our local communities to thrive. So whether that be through our financial centers, which are our branches, and the client-facing environment we're continually creating there by constantly updating and renovating the space to providing Wi-Fi so that customers can access or download our mobile app for convenience, and even how we train our frontline employees that are face-to-face -face for our clients, with our clients, so that they can deliver on our commitment to client care, just like the implementation of VR, which is so cool <laughs> that Lauren just shared a few minutes ago. So, and then on to our products. Um, we, we are trying to continually make sure that they're easy to use and affordable for all of our clients. Also providing capital to small businesses, to community developed organizations. We're out in the community delivering financial wellness resources and financial literacy training through our Better, Better Money Habits program. And we have champions all across the country who are teammates of ours spreading that knowledge in the interest of financial wellness for the greater good of the community. We have savings and budgeting tools both online and in our branches. And they're available in both English and Spanish so we can reach the broad, broader population. We also pride ourselves on our award-winning best-in-class advanced technology <laughs> from our ATM machines to our, to our mobile app. So last but not least, we have a significant commitment to creating jobs, careers, and opportunities for the people of our communities, truly in an effort to best represent those communities that we serve through who we call teammates at Bank of America. So now taking a step back, we're all aware that Bank of America serves millions of clients each and every day through those financial centers. And we have intentionally built about one third of those centers in low to moderate income neighborhoods in order to provide access and face-to-face -face support to the clients that need us the most. So as this approach was deployed, it became very obvious to us that a lack of access to jobs for the individuals living in these communities was a significant, a significant barrier to economic mobility and financial security. And quite frankly, we knew as Bank of America it was our responsibility to address this challenge head on. We also acknowledged that, uh, that employment is one of the most powerful levers to connect individuals to economic success, and we needed to lead the way in overcoming the challenge of lack of access to careers. So, in response to that challenge, and with the sponsorship and advocacy of senior leaders within our ESG organization, which is the Environmental, Social, and Governance Organization, in partnership with our Human Resources and Talent Acquisition Team, and then the Academy Leadership Team, 
In 2018, we launched our Pathways Initiative, which is our commitment to hire 10,000 individuals from the low to moderate income communities across the United States over the next five years. Thus, the initiative was, was born from first, responding to the challenge mentioned, and second, from truly early successes that we had had in partnership with some of our community workforce development organizations that we had had a relationship with years. Um, we had a relationship with them for years, traditionally, though, from more of a philanthropic perspective through our Bank of America Foundation. So until 2018, most of um, the Bank of America community philanthropic efforts were historically focused on things like funding, volunteer, volunteerism, and things of that nature. And while grants, funding, volunteerism continue to be areas that we unwaveringly support, we started to look to our community partners as a more deliberately as a source of talent. Um, uh, knowing that we had, um, you know, this ability to advance pathways to economic mobility in an effort to help build thriving communities. Thus, we reflected on how we can potentially match the clients seeking services with these incredible nonprofit partners to our talent needs at Bank of America. So Pathways has now developed into a recruiting and development program that partners with community organizations in cities where we have the highest concentration of hiring needs. So our goal and the goal of Pathways is to execute targeted recruitment events, create direct referral pipelines, and focus on career progression of the individuals we're hiring, and of course through the academy, while also developing an employee base that reflects best the communities that we serve each and every day. So through Pathways now, we began connecting talented individuals to the training and support they really needed to obtain a meaningful job and truly set them on a path to improve their financial lives and create a better future. So we, we, we think all the time and reflect on why are we doing this? It, it really truly has proven a benefit to Bank of America, to our communities, and to our clients. Pathways is providing Bank of America with the sustainable talent we need for critical roles that are in high demand and also providing a diverse workforce and supporting economic mobility and stability. So I'll share a, a bit more tactically about how we are doing this. So what we're doing is engaging directly with nonprofit organizations to get a real in-depth understanding of the clients that they're serving understanding the programs that they currently have or have underway, and then creating alongside of them, in collaboration, the programs needed to prepare the clients they're serving for potential career opportunities with us. In partnering with workforce development organizations, this has enabled us to meet individuals where they are, leveraging the existing framework of the nonprofits. So in markets where Bank of America has a large concentration of hiring needs, we identify specific organizations with strong programs. We gain an understanding of the individuals they serve and the job training model, mod, model that they have. And then we identify the most effective way to introduce Bank of America as a potential employer directly um, with those clients. In some instances, clients are directly referred to Bank of America based on the community organization's knowledge of the role and the individual's potential to be successful in that role. They are also able to submit uh, candidates directly through a dedicated referral portal to give us direct line of sight to the candidates. This portal is actually monitored by our recruiters, and each referral is coded as a Pathways referral, ensuring that a recruiter, recruiter can follow up directly with that individual. Sometimes this is also through providing a cohort or a class at a nonprofit with an in-depth discussion on the types of careers that we have at Bank of America providing an understanding that not all opportunities actually require a four-year degree, for example. Sometimes it's through introducing our benefits, as our minimum wage has increased to $20 per hour, actually providing individuals with a livable wage and higher than most other companies. And then you take tuition assistance, for example, at $7,500. When we start to open the doors to young adults, for example, and allowing them to consider graduating high school, high school into a career versus a more traditional path, and then allowing them to gain a college education while working full time with us, they're gaining this assistance, not to mention all of the traditional healthcare benefits, everything that makes Bank of America a great place to work year after year. This is 
truly a customized approach that we've built in coordination with our community partners that has enabled us and enabled these talented individuals to see the potential in themselves as employees and as teammates at Bank of America. And truth be told, it has significantly broadened our pools of talent. It's given us an opportunity to go to nonprofits, look at all the participants and the attendees that come through their doors and their programs each and every day, and be able to work with them to match our career opportunities with all of the amazing programs, programming that they already have. That being said, it's important to mention as well that our focus has remained not just on the front end hiring experience for these individuals, but also their development and long-term careers with Bank of America. And certainly the powerful piece comes in partnership with the Academy as they join Bank of America, where we're providing them with a lot of the support structure they're not necessarily used to having, or the type of support that they were seeking through the community partners. So, so knowing that Bank of America is gonna care for these individuals throughout their entire career journey, from providing mentorship and coaching to ongoing support is really clearly the differentiator of Pathways um, as we go into the marketplace. So with the support from the Academy, we're able to truly make sure that certain jobs are obtainable to anyone with an interest to learn and a desire to, to succeed. So Lauren, with that, um, do you mind flipping to the next slide, please? Thank you so much. So where are we and where are we headed? So in 2018, I mentioned we launched the Pathways Initiative and we launched in five pilot markets with three primary goals. Those three goals were to hire 10,000 individuals from low to moderate income communities over five years, to form partnerships with 10 workforce development nonprofit organizations, and to generate 1,000 candidate referrals through those 10 nonprofit organizations. So in 2019, I'm pleased to share that we actually surpassed the goal of the 10 nonprofit partners and actually ended the year with more than 8,000 Pathways hires. Um, but to date now in 2020, um, as you can see here, we have hired over 9,500 individuals, putting us at 95% or almost 96% now to our five-year goal. We've successfully received more than 1,100 candidate referrals towards our original goal of 1,000 by the end of this year. And we received these referrals from 25 community partners. Again, our originally stated goal was 10 community partners. And these were referrals directly for career opportunities with Bank of America. Even more importantly, of these hires, I mentioned the ongoing career and development support provided by the Academy. As a result of that engagement, 17% of these individuals hired have experienced job code changes, meaning they have moved into another role at Bank of America, and 12% of them have actually been promoted. Thus, this truly highlights our commitment not just to hiring into jobs, but really placing individuals into meaningful and sustainable careers with Bank of America. So as we're truly excited to approach the achievement of our initially stated 10,000 hires from the communities that need the careers the most, we're moving strategically and thoughtfully into new markets based on anticipatory hiring and strategically and thoughtfully aligning to the supply of talent from the community to the demand of our businesses. We do anticipate exceeding um, our initial pathways goal later this year, which is very exciting. Um, and as we look to surpass this tremendous milestone, we do look forward to, first of all, continued focus on development and retention of individuals already in careers with us, as well as, second of all, continuing to cast a much broader net into new markets with new community partners to really best align our talent demands to the career opportunities for well-deserving individuals. And our hope is that our investment in Pathways, Bank of America's investment in Pathways Contribute, continues to tr contribute to individuals and communities' abilities to not just survive but thrive, and that we're also an inspiration to other companies to make an investment in the same. So I so appreciate your time today. In closing, I'd love to share um, one of the personal experience of our teammate Judy Rotana's story with you. Again, thank you so very much, and we are honored to have had this opportunity today. My name is Judy Rutana and I am an ongoing support specialist. During my high school years, I became a mom. 
So it was kind of, you know, a struggle. I struggled, of course, you know, to try to balance my education as well as becoming a mom and also working a job. And a lot of people nowadays, they expect you to live your life in a chronological order. Go to high school, finish high school, go to a four-year degree college. My life didn't go that way. I got the opportunity, which was Europe, to give me that chance. Europe is a nonprofit organization that supports opportunity youth that have graduated from high school and have potentially hit some hard times. What we're finding most times is that these individuals are very job ready. They're very prepared for careers with us, but they just haven't had access to the network or to the social capital that many of us have had growing up. The candidates that come in, they want to grow and they want to achieve and they want to prove something. They want to do a good job. They want to make this their career. It's really just broadened our pools of talent. It's given us an opportunity to go to nonprofits and look at all of the participants and the attendees that come through their programs and be able to work with them to match our job opportunities with all the amazing programming that they have. The Academy is caring for individuals through not only their onboarding, but throughout their development and retention and their long-term careers with Bank of America. A year ago, I never thought that I would be in this position where I am today. I've never been in this type of jobs. You know, this is the first job that I work 40 hours. Usually I'm used to a fast-paced fast food or a regular high call volume call center, but this is different. My parents, they're the most hardworking people that I've ever met. Everything that I do is thanks to them. Because at one point in my life, they were disappointed. I disappointed my parents. Me being here, I'm able to make a difference in the client's lives. My parents are definitely proud. I have a purpose in life. I never knew that I was gonna be one day working for a company such as great as Bank of America. That is such a powerful video. I, you know, I had the opportunity to meet Judy, and she truly exudes that, that feeling of pride. So I'll close our presentation now by saying, and, and I know I can speak for both Jen and myself, that, that we are honored to be able to share a little bit about these programs with you all. We are both tremendously proud of the ways that we are supporting our teammates, clients, and our communities. If you'd like to learn more about the Academy at Bank of America, you can visit our career site. We have a whole section on the Academy, and that website is www.careers.bankofamerica.com. And you can also learn more about the Pathways Program on the About Us section of bankofamerica.com. Thank you so much for having us today. Judy, Lauren, or, um, sorry, uh, Lauren and Jen, thank you so very much. Uh, everything was so informative and just absolutely love what Bank of America is doing to engage your team, um, give them the confidence and knowledge they need to progress in their job. And yeah, the Pathways program just blows me away. And that video always gets me every time. So thank you guys so much for your time today and um, look forward to speaking with you again soon.